You know, you don't always have to start those recordings at the last minute. You can use your VCR2 timer. The great thing about the timer is that it will automatically turn on your VCR2, set the channel, start the recording, stop the recording at the right time, and shut your VCR2 off again. And the timer is simple to set. Let me show you. Remember the on-screen programming menus? We'll go back to those to set up the timer. I press the menu button to see the main menu on my TV screen. Then I press 4 to select timer recording. The first thing I see on my TV screen is the timer recording summary. This tells me what my settings are for 16 different events. Each event is a different TV program. I don't have anything set right now, so I press 01 to select event number 1 for programming, or 02 for event 2. It really doesn't matter which one I choose. Now the timer recording menu appears on my TV screen. This looks like the calendar we saw earlier when we set the date and time, and it works the same way, too. What I'm setting now is the date and time I want my VCR2 to record something. Remember, I can use the numeric buttons, 01 for January, 02 for February, or I can use the up and down buttons to change any of the settings. I also tell it how long to record, which channel to record, and which deck to record on. I'm using the next button to move through the selections, and the top line is telling me what to set. Then, when I've set everything, I press the Save button to store my settings, which automatically takes me back to the timer recording summary. That wasn't too tough, now was it? Now, I can review my settings, record Channel 8 on January 16th at 8 p.m. on Deck 2. When I've looked everything over, I press the Save button to leave this menu and return to the main menu, and the Save button again to clear the main menu. Now, if I don't already have my blank tape in Deck 2, I insert one, and I'm ready to go. The program light on my front panel tells me everything is OK, and I can turn my VCR2 off now, and it will come on automatically at the right time. Now, that's great, isn't it? You can do many other things with the timer. The timer can be set to record a program at the same time every day or every week. So if you like to watch the 5 o'clock news but you don't get home till 6, you can use the timer. To review the steps I just demonstrated and find out more about this helpful feature, see pages 19 through 21 of your owner's guide. Let me tell you about some of the auto features of your VCR2. These are things that your VCR2 will do automatically, and they make using your VCR2 that much easier. When you inserted this video manual, two things happened. First, your VCR2 turned on automatically. Auto Power On works any time you insert a tape into either deck, and you don't even have to press a button. Second, your video manual began to play. When you insert any tape that has the Record Safety tab removed, Auto Play will automatically play the tape for you. Now, while we're on the subject, I'll tell you about the Record Safety tab real quickly. This little tab on the front side of your tape tells your VCR2 that it's OK to record on this tape. So if you don't want to accidentally record onto this tape, break the tab off. Now your recording is safe. And if you decide later that you want to record over this tape, just put a piece of adhesive tape over the hole, just like this. Now, back to more of these handy auto features. Auto rewind is a pretty helpful feature. If you're watching a tape that has the record safety tab removed and the tape runs to the end, the VCR2 will automatically rewind it to the beginning. This will keep the folks at your video rental store real happy. Now, if you press the power button while the tape is rewinding, your VCR2 will automatically turn off when the tape is rewound. The little power indicator light will blink while the tape is rewinding. That's to tell you your VCR2 will shut off as soon as the tape is rewound. For more about these and other handy auto features, see pages 23 and 30 of your owner's guide. I've already shown you how to set the date and the time and how to set the timer for recording. Now let's quickly go through the rest of your on-screen programming menus. 
Remember, these menus make it simple to view and change your VCR2 settings right on your TV screen. You don't have to use these menus every time you watch a tape, just when you want to change a setting. Press Menu to display the main menu on your TV screen. Press 1 to select the video menu. On this menu are settings that deal with what you watch and record, as well as the auto features. Pressing 1 or 2 changes the recording speed for deck 1 or 2. Your VCR2 automatically plays pre-recorded tapes at the proper speed, so you don't have to worry about that. Now, the normal recording speed is standard play, SP. Long play, LP, gives you twice as much recording time, and extended play, EP, gives you three times the recording time, but the picture quality may not be quite as sharp. Now, I use SP all the time for the best recordings, and I always use high-quality VHS tapes. Pressing 3 switches from HQ Copy 1 to HQ Copy 2. These are the special circuits that duplicate your tapes when you use the Copy Tape button. Your VCR 2 is preset to HQ Copy 1, which gives you excellent duplication of most of your tapes. If you experiment, you may find that some tapes will duplicate better with HQ Copy 2. Try it out and see which one works best for your tapes. Page 13 of your owner's guide explains more about duplicating tapes. Pressing 4 through 6 turns your auto features on and off. If you use your VCR2 primarily to watch pre-recorded tapes, I'd leave the features on. That way your tapes will play and rewind automatically. See pages 23 and 30 in your owner's guide for more about auto features. When you're done with any menu, just press Save to return to the last menu that you saw. In most cases, you go back to the main menu. From the main menu, you can press 2 to go to the audio menu. This menu lets you select options for how your tapes and TV shows will sound on your VCR2. Pressing 1 or 2 turns Dolby noise reduction on and off for deck 1 or 2. Dolby can improve the sound quality of tapes you are watching or recording. Generally, if a tape was recorded with Dolby, play it with Dolby turned on. See page 24 of the owner's guide for more information on when to use Dolby noise reduction. Pressing 3 turns weak signal mute on and off. Now if you choose yes, TV channels with weak video and audio signals, like those that are too far away, will not be heard and a blue screen will be displayed for those channels. Otherwise, you'll get this. So, uh, I suggest choosing yes. Pressing 4 selects the audio source you will hear. This can be stereo or mono or a second language if you have TV stations that broadcast in two languages. You'll probably leave this set to stereo so you can listen to stereo TV broadcasts. But see page 24 of the owner's guide for more information. Now I'm going to press save to return to the main menu and press 5 to select channel tuner menu. The first thing you do on this new menu is set your antenna source. Now, now don't panic, it's not as difficult as it may seem. Press previous or next to choose the setting that gives you the best picture. Or call your cable company for the correct cable TV, that CATV setting. If you don't have a cable system, choose TV, and that's all there is to it. The rest of the things on this menu deal with channel memory, which allows you to select the channels you watch most frequently and save them in your VCR2's memory. Then when you press channel up or channel down, you will only see the channels that you want to see. You can read pages 26 and 27 of your owner's guide to learn about channel memory. If you want to, stop this tape now and look through the menus for a while. Remember, just press the menu button to get the main menu on your TV screen. Now, let me show you some of the important things about your VCR2 front panel. Your tracking and sharpness controls are behind these doors. Right here for deck one, and here for deck two. Tracking improves your picture when you're playing a tape that was recorded on another VCR. You know how you get those annoying lines across the screen sometimes, right? 
Sharpness softens or sharpens the picture for the best viewing. Also behind this door are programming buttons like the ones on your remote control. These lights show you what source is selected for recording onto deck one and over here for deck two. These lights in the middle tell you which TV view is selected. In other words, they tell you whether you're watching deck one, deck two, your VCR2 tuner, or something else you've connected to your VCR2. Remember, the tuner is the TV receiver in your VCR2. Here in the center is the front panel display. We've seen the time and day of the week. You also have a channel indicator to tell you which TV channel you're watching. And over here is the deck status, which tells you whether you're playing a tape, recording, rewinding, that kind of thing. Other lights tell you what audio source you've selected, stereo for example, what the tape speed is and whether you have the timer set. All of the front panel controls and lights are explained on pages 6, 7, and 29 of your owner's guide. Finally, let me show you some things you should and shouldn't do if you want your VCR2 to keep working properly. Always place it in a horizontal position, never like this. Don't put your soda, your coffee, or anything like that on top. And be extra careful not to spill anything on it. We suggest dusting your VCR2 with a soft cloth. Now there are more important precautions listed in your owner's guide on pages 1 and 2 and page 40. Please take a minute to read them. If your VCR2 ever needs service, don't try to do it yourself. Inside the front cover of your owner's guide, you will read the following. To reduce the risk of electric shock, never remove the VCR2 cover. There are no parts inside that you can service yourself. This is important, so keep it in mind, please. You can read the inside back cover of your owner's guide for warranty information and to locate the authorized service center near you. Well, there you have it a quick video course on your new VCR2. At the beginning of this tape, I congratulated you on purchasing the VCR2. Now I can congratulate you on being almost a VCR2 expert. To know even more about your unique dual deck VCR2, to understand how to operate all of its great features, including some I haven't described, you're going to want to refer to your owner's guide. But don't worry, we've made your owner's guide as easy to use as the VCR2 itself. And remember, if you want to review this tape, just rewind it to the beginning or to the section number you want. Okay, now it's all yours to enjoy. It's just the beginning of many happy years with your VCR2.